Now the Bible says, and be a person thereby good. We also want to hear about that. Good will come to you. Bible continues to say, but receive, please, instruction from his mouth. Very well, what the Bible says, I mean, also say, in the last day, people will be lovers of themselves. <laughs> they will be lovers of themselves. God hates us, disobedient <laughs> to their parents, to whatever you can name it. I mean, the spirit of disobedience will operate seriously in the last, last days. And will even choose the preachers whom they want to, to stand and, and preach upon their lives. They will choose. They are free in those days. But the Bible says, but still the Bible remains with one, one instruction. Receive instruction. From, from who? From God's mouth. And you say, where is God? You say, God is going to be using his preachers, preachers that are going to take his word as it is undiluted, not trying to paraphrase what God has said. Just put it straight and give it to God's people. Yes, that's our training. We have been trained to take the word as it is and hand it over to people. Receive instructions from his mouth. What we're trying to do here, we're trying to bring back and say, people go back to the word. Come back, go back to the word. Go back and read the word and apply this word personally to your life so that goodness can come to you. <laughs> I said to my son this morning, I've been having this feeling. I just, I'm not just saying that it's going to be. Yes, I, I, and I love it. I think I love it. I said to him, hey, I don't know. There were men before me, and before in olden days. Enoch, Amen, Elijah. They never died. I just, I just have this feeling. That the first going to touch with him, she happened. I just enjoy it because I, when I think about it, it's just comforting me. And he started saying, No, no, I know what they are like. There's a lot that you're supposed to do. God can never do that, it's not going to take you away. I'm not talking about dying. I said, It's just God taking me away. A chariot coming down and, and just fetching me. Oh, praise God. Never tasting them. But he continued to say, no, all of us in this day, some of us that were living, are not going to taste it. Jesus is coming to fetch us. I'm sure he's running away from this point, this feeling that I was having. He, in this thing, I just, I just, I just heard how important it is for a person to be looking forward to be with your God. And when we will begin to seriously enjoy life, not this one that you're talking about. Even preachers, whoever. There is always sufferings in this age. That is why the Bible says, women, many are the afflictions of a righteous person, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. We live in the midst of the sufferings. But with the hope of being delivered almost every day. But there's coming a time where there will be no more deliverance. We'll always, we'll, all of us will be delivered and be living with the Lord. There will be peace on earth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, it says, now the Bible says, and lay up his words. Lay up his words in your heart. And as the Lord, there's a problem. If you do not have his word in your heart, every kind of deception will come and deceive you. I'm not sure about you. <laughs> we see there's a bull and there's an ox. An ox in Kosa in Ka. 
I don't know what, um, what how they call in you know, an Do you have any name of Ikwang? We only have, I mean, I only know it as close as It is something between a bull and an ox. In fact, they were trying to tame it, take it down to, to become an ox. But somewhere, somehow, there was a mistake in trying to cut the bars. And trying to share my And Ukabi thinks that it's still a bull. And sometimes it becomes, I mean, an ox. He behaves like an ox. But all of a sudden, that spirit, because there's some things that were not done properly, it shows up. He wants to be a bull. And at the same time, once he begins to do that, he spoils the, the females. Because once he tried, once tried to behave like a bull, spoils the females. Allowed ourselves to I mean, allowed ourselves to be circumcised by the word of God. Our behaviors they change from time to time because we have not allowed God because circumcision it's all about the heart because circumcision it was all about. In the Old Testament, a sacrifice where you cut the sacrifice in between. And then this side, and God, he just passed through that carcass. And then he, he, about the heart, it's when God begins to pierce through your heart. That's why the Bible speaks about death to flesh. And Paul says, it's no longer I who lives, but Christ in me, the hope of glory. If you are not dead, you become a problem every day. Because the word of God never finds its place, a breakthrough in your heart. Laying the word of God in your heart, it means God has a breakthrough in your heart. God knows, as much as God knows your heart, but when we speak about breakthroughs, it means there's that partnership that has been forged between God and yourself. Allowing God to do whatever he wants to do with you. Why do we struggle? Why do we struggle in the body of Christ? Because we have not yet surrendered our lives to God. Laying up his word as the source of discernment, as the source of encouragement, as the source of discerning between good and evil in your heart. The well, greatest problem in these days, it's all about that. People can fill the church, but leave the church without us understanding. The Bible says, if you return to the Almighty, that's verse 23, you will be built up. And can you say, you will remove the iniquity far from your tent. Iniquity will be removed. You will remove. It says, it says you, go there, you will remove. Iniquity. When you return to God, remove iniquity from your tent. I think that's the time where we need to preach the pure gospel. The truth that is going to liberate God's people. Not comfort their conscience. 